is Tiffany and happy Mother's Day. This class is specifically for my mom. It's a gentle mild yoga flow. We'll do some seated postures. We will do a few standing postures, but we'll have a lot of fun. We will flow and release tension and all of the things. It's going to be great. For class, we will need a blanket. Um, so if you want to pause this video and go grab a blanket, feel free to do so now. Um, we'll get started. Take a blanket, and if you need it in any comfortable seat, you can place the blanket under your knees. You can sit on it. Um, if you prefer to grab a chair, you can grab a chair and sit on the chair. But just come to anywhere that feels comfortable to you. Start to close your eyes. And start to just relax here, in this space right here, right now. Noticing exactly how you feel in this moment. First, check in with how you feel emotionally, mentally, letting all the thoughts dance across your mind. And one by one, setting those thoughts aside like a physical object. Doing a quick body scan. How do you feel physically right here, right now? Noticing anywhere that feels strong. What feels good in your body right now? And it could be anything as simple as your pinky finger. Anything. And then notice the places that might feel sore or tender, a little stiff. Seeing if you can bring some extra love into those areas. A little bit of breath. Finally, check in with your breath. How are you breathing? Is it short and shallow into the chest? Is it long and deep into the belly? Just start to bring awareness to how you are breathing, something we do every single day that we don't always bring awareness to. It's so important for our survival. And you breathe a little bit deeper, controlling the breath, sending it all the way down through the chest and the belly into the legs and the arms and into the toes. And when you breathe out, imagining all your breath coming back from the toes and the legs, the belly, the arms, the chest, cleansing the entire body, touching every single cell bringing fresh life. Wherever you're at with your rhythm of breath, exhale everything outside of the mouth, H-A. And let's breathe in together. Breathe in through the nose for four, three, two, one. Pause at the top. Let the breath fill up through the lungs. And then exhale, sigh it out. Four, three, two, one, pausing at the bottom, getting every last bit of breath out of the body, and then inhale again for four, three, two, one, pause at the top for four, three, two, one, exhale, side out for three, two, one, pausing at the bottom for four, three, two, one, inhale this time, five, four, three, Two, one, pause at the top for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, side out, five, four, three, two, one, pausing at the bottom, five, four, three, two, one, one more time, inhale for five, four, three, two, one, pause at the top for six, five, four, three, two, one, one, exhale, side out, five, four, three, two, one, pausing at the bottom, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a big inhale through the nose, and exhale, let it go. We'll come into an ujjayi breath, we'll breathe in through the nose, and then we'll exhale through the nose. So it sounds a little bit like you're 
locking up a mirror when you're breathing in and finding up a mirror when you're breathing out. So it's like an ocean sounding breath in through the nose, out through the nose. So take a breath in through the nose and exhale through the nose. Creating a slight restriction on the throat on your exhales, pressing the top of your tongue to the roof of your mouth. One more time together, take a big inhale. And exhale, let it go. Start to remove the blanket from underneath you if you want. And bringing your legs out long. We'll come to lie on our backs. We'll have our soles of the feet to touch on the ground. And then just start to windshield wiper out your knees a little bit. Left and right. Seeing if you can find a connection with your breath and your movement. And bring your wrists up and start to roll your wrists out. Moving in one direction, moving in the other direction. Getting all the pops and cracks out. And then come to a static position. Release your left leg long. And then inhale, hug your right knee in towards your chest. And it's okay if this is as far as you get it. You can wrap your fingers around the back of your thigh. You can wrap it around the top of your knee, pulling it in closer. Really. Whatever is available to you and feels good to you in your body. You can roll out your right ankle here. In one direction and then moving in the other direction. Remembering to keep your breath in through the nose and out through the nose. And then inhale, pull the knee in tight. And then exhale, two point twist, drape the left knee across the right side body. The right arm goes out long, feeling a stretch here in the shoulders, feeling a gentle twist in the spine. Your gaze goes over the right fingertips. You can place as much pressure on that knee as you wish and on your leg, finding as deep as a stretch as you would like to, knowing that gravity can do all the work here for you. You do not need to pull that knee closer to the ground. And then inhale brings you back through center, switching out the legs, bring the left knee in, right leg goes long. Knowing if it's more comfortable to place that foot on the ground, you're more than welcome to do so. Inhale, interlace the fingers around your knee, or again, you can interlace them behind that thigh, whatever feels good to you. And on your inhales, pull your knee in closer to your chest. Again, rolling out the ankle here. Getting rid of all those pops and cracks. And then exhale, see if I to straight that left knee across the right side body. Feeling that twist is over your left finger. Again, knowing you can place as much bend in that, rather <coughs> placing as much weight on that right hand to that left leg as you would like to. Gaze over your left middle finger. And breathe into this space. Feeling that shoulder stretch, feeling that spine opening. And then inhale, back to center, bringing both knees into your chest. Again, maybe just reaching around for the legs, the knees, the inner, rather the backs of your thighs. Squeeze them in, rock side to side. Releasing again some tension in the back, giving yourself a little massage. And the best of your ability, coming to a seat so you can rock and roll using a little bit of force. You can roll over on your side, whatever feels good. Come to a seated position and then 
come to your hands and knees. Again, this could be a place where you use that blanket underneath your knees for a little extra support. Moving into a cat cow. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Round through the spine. Press the weight into your palms. Gaze towards your thighs. Inhale, cow. Drop the belly. Gaze goes up. And then exhale, cat. Round the spine. Press through the palms. Gaze towards the thighs. Inhale. Release the belly. Gaze goes up. For cow. And then exhale, cat. One more time. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Coming back to a neutral spine. Your spine is long. Gaze is out two to three feet in front of you. Imagining your collarbone reaching from side to side. Feeling your chest long. Your core is engaged. Hugging everything in towards the center of your body. And then spread your fingertips out wide. Your index fingers are parallel to each other. Pointing towards the top of your mat. Inhale, tuck your toes. And then exhale, slowly press back into a downward facing dog, lifting your hips up high towards the sky. Your feet are hip width distance apart. No, you can place as much bend in your knees that feels good to you. Pressing your chest back, breathe here into this position. In through the nose, out through the nose. And every inhale, see if you can release the tension, lifting your hips up higher. And then every exhale, see if you can melt into this space. Know that it's okay if your heels don't touch the ground. They can, and maybe they don't. And walk your dog out here, left and right. And press the ground away. And your blanket is in the middle of your mat. Slowly start to move it out of the way. And then inhale, look forward. Take tiny little steps to the top of your mat. And right elbow pose. Let your chest hang heavy over your thighs. Grab your opposite elbows. Start to rock side to side. In one direction, the other direction. Let your head hang as heavy as possible. And shake your head out. No. Shake your head. Yes. Always ending on a positive note. And then release your palms down. Heel toe your feet to touch. And then slowly start to rise, placing one vertebra on top of the next. Let your hands and your arms be heavy, your head be heavy, rolling up slowly all the way to stand. Hands by your side. Inhale, bring your hands to heart center. Close your eyes here. Your feet are to touch. And set an intention for yourself today. An intention for your practice. It could be something as simple as finding some movement or finding your breath. It could be a mantra. I am enough. I am more than enough. My mantra today is I am grateful for my mom and everything she's given to me. And for this practice, I do it for her. I'll let you find your mantra or your intention wherever you're at today. Take an inhale and then exhale, sigh your intention out. And then inhale, circle, sweep your arms up towards the sky. And then grab your left wrist with your right hand and exhale, find a gentle side bend to the right. Holding with your right hand, reaching your left arm a little bit longer, bumping your left hip out a little bit to the side. And then inhale back to center, switch it out. This time take your left hand, grab your right wrist, inhale, reach up, and then exhale, side bend to the left, feeling that stretch on your left side body, bumping your right hip out. And then inhale, brings you back to center. And then exhale, forward fold all the way down to the ground. Plant your hands and then step your right knee back and your left knee back. Coming to a tabletop position. Stay here and then inhale, cow, drop the belly. And then exhale, cat, ground. 
posture to the spine. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. And then exhale, step your right foot forward. So you might need to come up to your fingertips if that feels better. The best is your ability. Step that right foot forward. And it's okay if you have to physically lift your leg and put it there or however you get there. It's totally fine. Your left leg is long. You can also drop your back knee down. Actually, drop the back knee down. Untuck the back toes and then inhale, lift the arms up, finding an Anjaneyasana, a long crescent lunge. And breathe here. Feeling this stretch deep into the thighs, knowing this might be a little intense. You can always back up, back off if you need that blanket. Know the blanket is always available to you to place under your knees. And then exhale, find the half split. So hinging over that right leg, knowing it can be straight, bending your hips back, it can be a little bent, whatever feels good. Feel the stretch in your right hamstring. And then inhale brings you forward. Plant your right hand down. Inhale, sweep your right arm up towards the sky, finding a twist. Squeezing your shoulder blades together, reaching in opposite directions. And then exhale, right hand comes back down. Step your right knee back to meet your left. Inhale, tuck your toes. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your left through forward. Anjane Asana, drop your right knee down. Inhale, reach the hands up, lifting up through the heart, sinking the shoulders down the spine. And then exhale, find your half splits. Hands come to frame your foot, lengthening out through that left leg as much as you would like. You can flex your toes back towards your nose if you have the space, but it's okay if your knee is a little bit bent. Breathing here. Feeling that stretch deep into your left hamstring. And then inhale, brings you back, low lunge. Plant the right hand down. Inhale, sweep the left arm up towards the sky. Finding that twist, press the ground away. And lift up with the left hand, reaching in opposite directions. And then exhale, bring the left hand back down. Step the left knee back to meet the right. Inhale, tuck the toes, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Drop the left knee. Inhale, reach the arms up, Anjane Asana. And then exhale, half splits, moving a little bit faster this time. Inhale, brings you back, low lunge. Plant the right front of the left hand, and then inhale, find that twist. Right arm reaches up towards the sky. Exhale, right hand down. Step the right knee back. Inhale, tuck the toes, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Drop the right knee. Inhale, on Janayasana. Reach the fingertips up high. And then exhale, find that half splits. Lengthening through that left leg, maybe flexing the toes towards your nose. Inhale, brings you back, low lunge. Sweep the left hand up towards the sky, easy twist. And then exhale, hand comes back down. Bring the knee to meet the right. Inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. One more time, just like that. Inhale, look forward. Step the right leg through. Drop the left knee. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, arms sweep up. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, back to low lunge. Plant the left hand down. Inhale, twist. And then exhale, right hand. 
bring the right knee back, back to the chest, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, look forward, exhale, step the left knee through, drop the right knee, inhale, Anjane Asana, and then exhale, half split, inhale, brings you forward, low lunge, plant the right hand, inhale, left arm sweeps up, pressing the ground away, Exhale, hand drops back down, tuck the right toes under, bring the left knee to meet the right, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big inhale, and exhale, side out. One more time, take a big inhale, and exhale, let it go. Moving a little bit deeper this time, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step the right foot forward, low lunge. This time, keeping that left knee off the ground, always that option to drop the left knee. But for at first, keeping that back knee lifted, maybe coming up to your fingertips, lifting your chest up, and then slowly start to rise all the way up to a crescent lunge, sinking deep into that left lunge. Your back knee and your back leg are straight. Pause here and breathe. And then exhale, find a warrior two. So your back heel spins down to a 45 degree angle, reach in opposite directions, squeeze your legs together, and then inhale, reverse your warrior. Left hand comes back, down the back left leg, reach the right arm up high towards the sky, and exhale, side angle. The right elbow comes to the right knee. You can place it on the inside of the right knee. You can place it resting on your thigh, but reach up with that left hand, squeezing those legs together. Your legs stay exactly the same. And then inhale, reverse your warrior like you're high-fiving the back wall. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Step your right toes back. Maybe drop the knees or just press back up. Downward facing dog. Repeating that on the left. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step the left foot through. Keeping that back knee lifted, coming up to your fingertips, lift through the heart, lift through the chest, find a long spine. And then inhale, brings you all the way up. Crescent lunge. Sinking low here, building some heat. Plug your shoulder blades down your back. Pinky fingers spinning towards each other. Always that option to drop the back knee. Be where you are. Take an inhale. And then exhale, spin your back heel down, 45 degree angle. Reach your fingertips in opposite directions. Breathe here. Squeezing your legs together. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, find that side angle. The left arm comes to the left knee, reaching in opposite directions. Again, you can always bring it to the inside if you want a little bit more, or you can place it right here on your thigh. Reach up with that right hand. Breathe here. Use your core. Spin your heart open a little bit more. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the floor. Your, you come to the ball of your right foot, left foot steps back, always that option to drop those knees, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Moving through that two more times, moving a little bit faster. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your right foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Plant your hands, come to the ball of your left foot, and step your right back to meet your left, maybe dropping to your knees, downward facing duck. Inhale, look forward. Step your left foot to the top of the mat. And then inhale, lunge out, rather high crescent lunge. Your left leg goes long. Plant your shoulders down your spine. Exhale, warrior. 
warrior two. Inhale, reverse to your warrior. Exhale, side angle. Left elbow to the left thigh. Reach up with the right hand, feeling that side stretch in the right side body. Inhale, reverse. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands down. You can always drop that back knee down, stepping back to your knees, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your right foot through, high, low lunge rather. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two, back heel spins flat. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Step your back knee back. Drop your knees if you need to. Inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your right, rather your left knee through. Inhale, high crescent. Reach your fingertips up towards the sky. Sink low in the hips. Exhale, warrior two. Spin your arms to a T. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale. Side angle, right elbow comes to your, rather your right, left elbow comes to your left knee. Reach up with your right hand. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Coming to the ball of your right foot, dropping your right knee, bringing your left knee to meet it. Tuck your toes, and then exhale, downward facing dog. We'll be here for three breaths. Take an inhale. Exhale, side up. Take an inhale. Then exhale, side out. One more time. Big inhale through the nose. Lift the hips towards the sky. Exhale, side out. Inhale, look forward. And then step through your hands, having a seat on the mat. Coming to your back, you can use your blanket for your hips or your shoulders or whatever feels good to you. Coming all the way to your back, coming into a Supta Baddha Konasana, letting your knees open wide. You can be your toes up closer to the top of your mat, you can bring them closer to you, whatever feels good to you. Just start to move them from side to side. Slowing down your heart rate. You can close your eyes here. If you'd prefer to keep it static, you can place one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly if that feels good. Just breathe into the space. rocking your hips or if you place your hands on heart center, slowly start to release, bringing your knees in towards your chest. And then if it feels good, rocking and rolling, or maybe you just roll over from one side to the next, come into a seat, sitting on your blanket. Bring your legs out to a V shape. And then slowly start to hinge forward, feeling a stretch here. Lifting your heart up, seeing if you can keep the shoulders from rounding. You might not see a lot of depth, but you'll feel it in your hamstrings. And you can wiggle out your toes, your ankles here, maybe even your wrists if that feels good. out through the hips, but just sitting tall here. Maybe you stack your shins on top of each other. Maybe you just sit cross-legged. Just feeling this stretch in your hips. Bring your hands to heart center. If this is enough, you can stay here. If you want a little bit more, you can start to fold over your hips. Pausing and breathing.
walk your fingers up. And then switch out the legs. So I had the right foot on top of my left foot. So now I'll put my left foot on top of my right. Again, maybe I just sit up tall and sit here. This is enough. But if you want more, start to hinge forward, walking your fingers to the top of the mat. And then lift up through the heart. Trying to keep your spine nice and flat. Breathe here.
again, always options to roll out your ankles, one direction, other direction.